I'm sure that most of you know or at least have heard about Arthur. If you're living under a rock, then let me give an explanation to you. It's a Canadian-American animated TV show on PBS about the lives of a young artwork named Arthur Reed, his friends and family and their daily interactions with each other. The show premiered in 1996 and is still making new episodes to this day, going on to be the second longest running cartoon in the US, behind The Simpsons and has become one of the highest rated shows on PBS Kids. I first watched this show when I was a kid back around 1998 and quickly became a big fan of it. The animation was good, the plots were great and the characters were pretty likable, except for some like DW. However, season 16 was where things kinda started going downhill for me. The classic traditional animation was replaced with new Flash animation, which felt pretty stiff compared to the more vibrant former. Some new characters were introduced such as LaDonna Compson and her younger brother Bud, who both felt like pretty and original opposites of Arthur and DW to me and some of the characters' relationships started falling apart. One of my least favorite episodes from this era of Arthur was, so funny I forgot to laugh, because not only was Arthur out of character in this episode for bullying Sue Ellen, he didn't get as much harsh punishments. Anyways, enough with that introduction, let's get to the real subject of this story. I was on the way to home from my work as a janitor at the PBS headquarters one day when I noticed a USB drive on the ground. Curiously, I picked up the USB drive and went into my car to go home. When I got home, I plugged the USB drive into my computer and a single folder came up named Arthur Season 16.zip. There were a few MP4 files in that folder, consisting of full episodes of Arthur from Season 16. However, two of these files caught my eye. Those files were named, Arthur Season 16 Episode 10A.mp4, and Arthur Season 16 Episode 10A.1.mp4, respectively. Curiously, I opened the first file and little did I know that it was a big mistake. As the file started playing, the intro to Arthur started playing, with that familiar catchy tune of Believe in Yourself. The intro was normal, no distorted music, no creepy changes, none of that. Then the episode started and it was, so funny I forgot to laugh, one of my least favorite episodes like I said before. However, my curiosity let me watch the episode and it was perfectly normal until it got to the end. After the part where Arthur became displeased at Sue Ellen declining his apology to her, it showed a scene of the Reed family's TV displaying the title screen of a parody of the original 1991 Sonic the Hedgehog game named, Manic the Hedgehog. It then showed Arthur playing the game on a console that looked like the Mega Drive slash Genesis. It then showed Sue Ellen knocking on the front door of Arthur's house. Jane then opened the door, asking what Sue Ellen was here for. Sue Ellen then answered saying that it was none of her business and went inside the house to where Arthur was playing Manic the Hedgehog. Sue Ellen then asked Arthur to apologize to her, but Arthur said, Not right now. Sue Ellen then growled in frustration as Arthur said, I've got a pee now, so see you. Arthur then stopped playing and went upstairs to pee. Sue Ellen then looked around the room for something to kill Arthur with, when she spotted the Mega Drive-like console under the TV. Sue Ellen then said, Aha! Uh -huh. And pulled out the console, as she said, If he bullied me, then I'm gonna bully him back. Arthur then went downstairs to the den where the console was and said, Hey Sue Ellen, I'm... Arthur then paused as she saw Sue Ellen slowly walk up to him with the console he was playing on. Arthur then said, Uh, Sue Ellen? Sue Ellen continued walking to Arthur with the console in her hands. When Sue Ellen was close enough to Arthur, she slowly lifted the console up in midair as Arthur said, Wait, what are you doing? Sue Ellen then started violently hitting Arthur with the console as Arthur screamed in agony. Arthur told Sue Ellen to stop and give him another chance, but Sue Ellen said, Too late. There's no going back now. Blood then started to come out of Arthur's head and nose. At this point, I was in disbelief and shocked. Why was Sue Ellen doing this? Sure, it was out of character for Arthur to bully her, but this was way too out of character, even for a character like Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen then started smashing Arthur's face with the console. Blood was splattering on the console and on the floor, and Arthur's glasses were being shattered, causing lots of blood to run out of Arthur's face. Brain matter and guts were also flying out of Arthur's face. 
At this point, I was starting to feel nauseous. Sue Ellen then proceeded to rip open Arthur's torso with the console, with blood and guts coming out. Sue Ellen then finally decapitated Arthur with the console. Sue Ellen then walked out of the den. I was then given a shot of Arthur's dead body, mutilated, with tons of blood running down, brain matter and guts scattered on the floor, glasses shattered, torso ripped open and head cut off. The shot was so horrifically nauseating that I almost puked. It then showed David in the kitchen putting some macaroni and cheese on a plate. He then exited the kitchen and walked into the den as he said. Arthur, dinner's- It immediately cut to an outside shot of Arthur's house at night with David screaming in the background. It then showed two police officers handcuffing Sue Ellen as one of the police officers said. Sue Ellen, you're under arrest for one count of murder. Sue Ellen then said. But I'm not the bad guy, Arthur's the- One of the police officers then interrupted Sue Ellen by saying. Do not give me that excuse. As the two police officers carried Sue Ellen out of the house. It then showed David standing with Jane and D.W. as the former said. That sick freak gets what she deserves. D.W. then ran away from David and Jane as she cried over Arthur's dead body. I'm sorry Arthur, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have been so annoying to you, I regret it. D.W. said as she cried heavily over Arthur's dead body. Jane then went up to D.W. and said. Cheer up now D.W. I know it's hard to use someone like Arthur, but please try to get over it. D.W. then said. Okay. As Jane, David and D.W. left the den, leaving just a shot of Arthur's dead body on the screen, fading away after a short while. The episode then ended there. I just looked at the screen, now completely devoid of what I watched. How can someone mess up such an innocent kid's show like this? I took the USB drive out of my computer and put it in one of my bedroom drawers. I didn't want to destroy it though. I still own the USB drive, although I refuse to watch the contents that are on it again. I'm also not gonna take any screenshots or footage of this alternate ending, since I don't want to get into any legal trouble with PBS and the other companies that own Arthur. If you know anything about this alternate ending, please let me know, since I would like to have closure on this.